here now at the famous Shibuya Scramble, we think. Hachiko is right over there. Oh, I should have put Hachiko in there. I'll put a photo in. Here we are. This is it, right? Must be it. Statistics say more than 2,000 people a day cross this street. Something like more than two, more than 2,000. Okay, we're going to cross that way. Now you have to hop or skip all the way across, right? <laughs> I wonder if anybody's ever skipped across it. Well, enough about my antics. Let's look around. We are definitely in. And that's where we're going. Over there to the Tower to, Records. Tower Records over there for the yellow sign. Red ah, that's where that's where they've got Second Backstreet Boys, right? Backstreet Boys Cafe. No, one oh one direction. That no, I got it now. <laughs> Here we go. Whee, nice sound effects. Oh, well, that's a big old Starbucks. I hear that's the first Starbucks in the world. No? Okay, here we go. Here we go, Amy Crossing. Okay, I see. I lost my family. Where'd you go? Hi. I got a fart. I'm gonna do it. Oh crap, where am I going? I cheap. Ah, see, okay. Yeah, 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 I'm doing good, good. Ah, cheap. I got a fart. Ah. Well, at least that's an accomplishment. I farted in Shibuya. Scramble. My, my, my life is now complete. <laughs>
Tokyo, and it was cold up there, snow on the ground, very interesting. We uh, made our way immediately to the United States Embassy. Our appointment was at 11.45. Um, we got in the place by 10.30. I thought we'd have a long time to wait. They just turned out that we, they, they a very smooth, efficient operation and not crowded, which of course contributes to that. So we were in and out before the appointment time. Uh, Emily was uh, impressed by two things. Uh, we first, when we stepped through the uh, security and we actually entered the facility, and I told her that she was now on American soil, so to speak, and uh, she was she was she found that very interesting when I explained how embassies are the uh, soil of the foreign country that they're in. I said, "Welcome to America, sweetie," and uh, she, she seemed to like that. She was also impressed, or not, impressed isn't the right word, interested in little little things like uh, when we had to, my wife and I had to swear. Uh, that we were telling the truth and we had to hold up our, not this one, but this hand, our right hand and swear to tell the whole truth and learn nothing but the truth and only exclusively the truth or however it goes. Uh, I noticed that they, they admitted the uh, so help us God. I wonder uh, if that's a new, a new thing. Uh, she was impressed by that and also the families. It was in the passport. It seemed to be all families exactly like us. Uh, foreign um, men, uh, Japanese wives, and uh, their uh, various and sundry offspring. Uh, it, was, it was really, it was very interesting. I could tell Emily was very, her curiosity was piqued. Well, this, I, by the way, I bribed her. She forgot her headphones, so I bribed her. <laughs> she wanted to borrow my headphones. I said, okay, but you have to promise you're gonna smile in photos and, and let me take pictures today. And so she did, and people, I, I posted those photos on Facebook, and people were leaving comments, oh, Emily seems to be smiling a lot more. And it was because I bribed her. <laughs> So we did that, so well, we got up there, and then we, after that we had a grand old time. We were done by, like I said, by 11, by 11.30, and so we had the whole day free, and I felt a little guilty because I took the day off from work, and my co-teachers were back at school teaching while I was up having fun, but we went to Shibuya, we went, had our picture taken with uh, Hachiko the dog. I might throw some of these photos at the end of this video, uh, if you can see them, if you didn't catch them on Facebook. Uh, Hachiko the dog, we went to... Uh, uh, we went to the one, you know, my, my wife lives One Direction, and uh, she's, she loves that, that group. So we went to the One Direction Cafe and had lunch. I was in the Tower Records building. We went to the One Direction shop. I went to the Justin Bieber shop, um, and uh, my daughter found the One Piece shop. Someone said, made some funny comment on Facebook about One Direction to One Piece or something. I can't quite re rephrase it. Oh, we had a great old time, and then came on back, had a, went to a wonderful cafe. Oh, Tokyo is so amazing, just so amazing. But it was good to be back in Shizuoka, our peaceful little, peaceful mountain. That's what Shizuoka means, the peaceful mountain. Uh, and it was good to be back. So, okay, what else is going on? Um, while we were there, I asked them, well, the other big thing in our lives, now that the passport thing is taken care of for Emmys, the other, uh, the other big thing uh, is, and this is the big one, is Yumiko's green card. She had a green card. She lived in the United States for 10 years, and we went through this whole process before. Long, involved process. She had been in the United States on a student visa when we got married, and so she was able to stay during the process of, of, of application for the green card. Um, so she got the green card, and it was an involved process then. Lots of long waits, lines, and applications, and interviews at the at the uh, Department of whatever the heck in Los Angeles there, including the point where they take us to the separate rooms and ask us the interview questions. You know, I've talked about this before. You know, what kind of toothpaste does she wear? What time does she get up? What's her favorite TV program? I knew not the answer to none of them, even though we'd been together for like a decade then. But somehow we got him. So she got her green card, but if you're out of the, out of the country for more than a year and you don't, you know, keep it up, you'll lose your green card, which is what happened after 10 years. And he goes, well, actually, it got stolen. Can you believe it? Our first week back in Japan here, 10, when we first came back, how was that, Mas? When we first came back, Emily, Yumiko's wallet was, or her purse, I think it was, was stolen in a supermarket, in a department store down the street. I couldn't believe it happened here in Japan. Had her green card in it, all her stuff was in there. We lost everything in that case. So she not only is her green card expired, but it's gone. So we didn't even have that, and we. So I went up there and I asked them point blank. I said, "Okay, here's the situation. You know, the Yumiko's green card uh, was was stolen, and it's been 10 years. Uh, we want to go back to the states. So what what is the fastest? What is the fastest legal procedure that we can take to make this happen?" She said. She said essentially the, the representative of the embassy said, 
the green card thing is basically it's over. Yeah, there, we can't. You know, we could apply to have it as a lost green card, but it's like it's lost ten years. You know, back in the '90s, no, the early early 2000s, and now we're reporting it lost ten years later. It ain't gonna happen. So no chance of that. We're gonna have to go through the process. Is there any chance, I said, is there any chance that we could apply for the green card here and get like a special visa to allow her to come to the States? Because I'd read up on those on the, on the internet. And she said, there are, the woman at, at the embassy said, said, there are special types of visas for longer visas, but they are all with the intent that you're not going to the United States to say, stay permanently. The all, it's all it comes down to intent. If Yamiko's intent is to go there and stay permanently, none of those visas apply. Now, you can read into, um, you can read, you know, clearly there are loopholes that you could, let's, not, let's wait while the train goes down, there are loopholes that you could use to get through that, right? I mean, we could apply for one of those visas, just kind of go in and go from there. I mean, we could, the, the two of them could board the plane with me next week and fly in. I'm sure they'd get in just fine and that would work out okay. Now there's women coming the other way. So let's go over this way so I don't capture young girls on film. Sounds like a Duran Duran song. Girls on the film. Anyway, but my wife being who she is and me being who I am, uh, we, we're not going to do that. You know, I'm the guy that tries not to even speed. Uh, you know. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm a little extreme sometimes. <laughs> to, to a fault. And, but Yumiko shares that characteristic with me. I, mean, I could just imagine her trying to trying to get through the 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 you know the uh, I could just imagine my wife trying to sneak through. I mean, it wouldn't be sneaking through if she got that visa and then tried to get get through. She'd be so nervous and uncomfortable trying to do that. It's just she'd she'd make a terrible smuggler. As would I. I'm actually going to go back this way because I need to go to 7-Eleven. So I got to wrap this up quick. So therefore, the thing is, and here's the people. Now they're really going to wonder what's up. Um, therefore, the thing is, um, we're going to have to wait. So we're going to apply. Uh, and I thought we could do this thing with a special visa. So I hadn't submitted the I-190 yet, which is the form that we need for all this. So we're really kind of screwed. I'm going to get back there. It's not, I'm leaving in like a week. I'm going to get all my forms and all the paperwork together here. I'm going to get back there, apply, and go right from there. I've got a lawyer that's going to be helping me. And, uh, and... Get, it's gonna, what this boils down to is it's going to be six months before I see my family. It's not likely that I'm going to come back uh, in in that time. Uh, let, you know, I'm just starting a brand new job. I'm not going to earn any any vacation time to do anything. It's not like my school job where I have the school holidays. Um, so I'm not going to see my family for six months. Yeah, most likely, or at, at minimum, it could be longer than that. Interesting uh, uh, and intimidating and, and frightful and uh, uncomfortable ramifications and all of that. Um, I don't know exactly, uh, still trying to work all that out. It only happened on Tuesday that we really realized that. Okay, on another news, um, uh, the car that I was going to borrow when I first got to LA died and it, it was gotten rid of it. it it's been buried. So uh, that means that when I get there, I'm not going to have a vehicle. and. If, you're familiar with the song, Nobody Walks in L.A.? It's true, nobody walks in L.A. It's just not an... an LA, uh, L.A. is not a uh, walking or a public transport city, really. It's better now with the trains. But, so that means I need wheels. I was going to buy the uh, motorcycle that I... my That dream motorcycle, but it's just been released and there's a long waiting list to get that darn thing. So, um, it's just not going to work out. What I think I'm going to do... Excuse me. Pardon me, pardon me. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to buy myself a cheapo motorcycle. Again, sticking with the motorcycle idea for the cost effectiveness of the commute. And uh, um, also, uh, it's just, just what I like. Um, and, my, and my wife's behind it. She's encouraging me too. She says, get a motorcycle. So um, I'm going to probably gonna buy that. Try to get something under $5,000. And, uh, you know, because it's got to be decent for this commute. And hopefully within a few days of getting there. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, anything else going on that's going on? I'm just, just you know, I don't want to go on and on about it, but this is, this is a record of the experience of the whole thing. You know, it, this is, 
this is a very difficult thing, um, and I'm having a really hard time this la this last this week is tough. Um, you know, the pending separation, especially now that I know I won't see my family for half a year. The pending separation, the the uncertainty of what's to come. Uh, my 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 new boss has given has given me uh, an in clear indication that I'll I'll have a, a, a some responsibility that. Uh, is, uh, is indeed challenging and I want to do good at that. I've been researching that and getting ready for that. So all these things conspire to, uh, to you know, it, it bubbles in the mind and it churns and it moves around and it makes it hard to sleep again. You know, it's, that's been the hallmark of all of this is my, my, my difficulty sleeping at night. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting to the other side and getting some good rest maybe in, a, in, in, in next, this time next year. We'll see. But now I'm at 7-Eleven. I need to stop and get some uh, yogurt and uh, I'll call it quits and get on to work. Thanks for watching, guys. And more, more coming soon. Oh, and then to, we have, we have to, tonight I have a thing with, the, with this work, and then tomorrow I have a thing with the work, and then on Saturday is, there's this party, and then on Sunday there's the other thing. It's busy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.